Hi, I'm Esther Chadwick. I'm a graduate student in the Department of the History of Art here at Yale. And together with Meredith Gamer and Syra Levinson, I co-curated the exhibition that's been up in the fall of 2014, Figures of Empire, Slavery and Portraiture in 18th Century Atlantic Britain. Okay, so the exhibition attempted to understand how slavery, in the words of Simon Gakandi, was aestheticized and woven into the fabric of metropolitan British culture. And it did this, it explored this question through the genre of portraiture. We've, we've said as curators, we want viewers to look at these portraits against the grain. And what we mean by that is to try and get beyond the sorts of conventions that were set up by the patrons and makers of these portraits in the 18th century, which for example say, this is a portrait of a nobleman. Okay, we now see that there are two figures in this portrait, not just one, but the 18th century want, wanted you to, you to understand the portrait as simply a portrait of the one white man in the middle of the picture. And it, it basically set up a convention of ignoring or, or really not looking properly at this other figure. A young man, for example, in the painting by Joshua Reynolds of Charles, Charles Stanhope, third Earl of Harrington, who is pictured alongside a young man of African birth or descent. The title for that painting for a long time, well, when it was first exhibited, it was shown at the Royal Academy in London in 1783 as simply Portrait of a Nobleman. And then even here at the Yale Centre for British Art, it was known as Portrait of Charles Stanhope. And no mention at all was made of the second figure who is clearly in this scene. And so we want to go against that convention and think, well, let's think about both of these figures here. Let's think about this second figure too. And we've simply just retitled the portrait, Portrait of Charles Stanhope and a Servant. And it seems like a very small and inadequate in a way move, but just by doing that, you shift the focus a little bit. And another thing that we've done is uh, use our label and wall text in certain ways. So for example, uh, for, for the large group portrait of Elihu Yale and company and an enslaved servant, which began the exhibition, we uh, began our object label by talking about the young, the young enslaved boy rather than by talking about Elihu Yale and the second Duke of Devonshire and company first. We, we did quite a lot of research for the exhibition, but in all of the objects that we researched, the, the book is not closed, it's very much open, and that was one of the kind of key points of, the, of doing the exhibition, was to open the book, open the questions, open the conversations. Mm -hmm.